Hi there and welcome to this tutorial on HTMX. Now HTMX is a new technology that's emerged recently and as it says in the documentation here it gives you access to AJAX requests, CSS transitions, web sockets and server sent events directly in HTML which means that you don't need to write any JavaScript um, usually to accomplish some tasks that you would normally need to do with a library such as jQuery. Now the main benefit of using HTMX is that it can simplify your architecture. Instead of using a library such as React or Vue.js, you can use HTMX and you don't need to manage that separate front end process. And that could be very beneficial. So let's go to the documentation here and we can see what HTMX offers. Now it allows you to access modern browser features in HTML directly rather than using JavaScript, so it can simplify things for developers who may not want to write any JavaScript code. So you can do things like send a post request on a particular trigger, such as a click event or a, a key up or a mouse enter. And you can target particular elements in the document and replace them with what is returned from the server. So we're gonna see in more detail what this means throughout the tutorial. One of the important points though about an HTMX application or an an app that uses HTMX is this paragraph here which says when you use HTMX on the server side you know you will respond with HTML instead of JSON normally an API would return JSON but in this model you're returning HTML fragments that are then placed into the document so we're going to see how to do that in this tutorial now I've got a basic starter application here that's on github the link will be in the description for this and this is a basic Django app that I've set up that contains authentication such as a login form and a register form. You can see that here. We've got a basic home page with some lorem ipsum and we have a login and a register form. So what we're going to do in this video is we're going to go to the register form and we're going to wire up HTMX to check whether a given username already exists or not. And if it does exist, we're going to show an error message saying that the username is not available. So we're going to walk through the code um, using HTMX on how to achieve that. We've got a basic Django app that you've cloned from GitHub and it contains a few libraries, Django itself, Django extensions and Django widget tweaks. Widget tweaks is something you can use um, here. You can load it in and render particular form fields and then attach things like classes and other HTML attributes. So that makes it a bit simpler to work with forms in Django on templates, very nice library. So what we're going to do now is we're going to wire up this username field and we're going to do an Ajax request using HTMX to check whether the username exists. So let's go to the register form and we're going to check out the username field. Now currently um, this is the register form, it's an HTML template in Django and we have the username field here and we're currently rendering uh, the field form.username and we're giving it the bootstrap class form control to give it some basic styling. Now what I want to do is now add some additional attributes that are HTMX attributes and what we want to do is we want to send a post request with the value of the username field to a backend endpoint which will then check the username whether it exists or not and we want to do that every time the user types so for example if I was to type in mark every every single character that gets typed in here we want to send an Ajax request so the trigger action is going to be key up okay so that's the first piece of the puzzle here we're going to add a few attributes in HTMX now the first attribute is the HTTP method so it's going to be HX post because we're sending a post request and the value of that attribute is going to be the backend endpoint now we'll create this in a minute but let's say it's um, check username that's going to be the back end endpoint. And we're going to trigger this action on, let's say, on key up every time a user will type in it, any character in the form. Now, what I want to do now is I want to add uh, an error div below this, and I'm going to give that an ID of, let's say, username error. And that's just going to be empty for now because I'm going to set up a target here. Uh, using the HX target and that means we'll, we'll cover what this means in a second but the target is going to be the username error and that refers to this div here so what we've got now is we've got 
the very basic attributes that we need here. Whenever um, a user types any key in the username field, we're going to send a POST request to this backend endpoint, which we're going to create in a minute. And that is going to target, with the HTML that's returned from the backend, it's going to replace the inner HTML by default within this div. So the inner HTML will just be this here. It's currently nothing, but it's going to replace that uh, with whatever is returned from the back end, and that's what the hx target attribute gives you. So what we need to do now is we need to actually go and create this back end endpoint check username. So we can go to urls.py, and I'm going to create a separate um, list here, htmx URL patterns, and let's say that's an empty list, and we're going to define the path, and it's going to be check username, and we're going to refer to views check username and we'll give it a name of check username and then to our URL patterns we can append these new HTMX URLs this is just a particular preference of mine you can do it any way you want now we need to go ahead in the views file and create this new view called check username so within views.py we'll define this function that takes the request now this is going to be what deals with the HTMX response. It returns HTML that is then swapped into our HX target div. So what I need to do is get the user model. So I'm going to import from django.contrib.off the get user model function. And within the check username field, we're going to get the username attribute from the from the form. And we can get that with request.post. Remember, HTMX is sending a POST request, and that's defined by the attribute HX POST. So we get the POST data, and we can extract the username from that. And that matches um, what's on the form. If you look at the DjangoForms.py, it's going to give the, the, re the username field the name of username, which we can then grab on the back end. So the next step is to check whether or not this username exists in the database. So we'll call the get user model function which will return the user model that we're using in this application and then we can chain dot objects dot filter and we can check whether or not the username a username with the one that we've extracted from the uh, post request exists in the database and we'll chain dot exists onto that to return true or false now if it does exist we want to return an http response and it's just going to be a string because we're just swapping a string into this div here. So what we can do is we can just say if it exists, this username already exists. And then in the case where this username doesn't already exist, we can return another HTTP response. And we can say this username is available. So with that done, we can save the register form and let's try this out now. But we have missed one crucial step here, so let's go back to the documentation. Um, HTMX in a nutshell, down here you've got the installation. We haven't actually added the script to our base.html. This project that we've cloned has a base HTML file, which all the other HTML files extend. And that just includes the nav bar and some other things. But what we want to do is include from a CDN and I'll just type HTMX here, the script tag containing the HTMX source code. So now that we have that, we can save and we'll run the server, it's already running. We can refresh this now, and hopefully this will work. So if I start typing in mark, we get this username is available, and that's quite useful. We haven't written any JavaScript code, but this is already checking whether or not the username is available or not. Um, so what we can do now is we can register a user. So We'll register Mark. So we've registered a user called Mark now. So if I go back to the register form and we type in the user Mark here, we see that the username already exists. So that's actually the Ajax request is returning the fact that that exists and it's replacing automatically this message in the DOM. We haven't written any JavaScript. This is very convenient for developers who want to create responsive applications and dynamic applications without writing complicated React code or Vue.js code. So HTMX by default takes the returned HTML and it injects it into the element that is specified by the HX target. So we've got an HX target here of 
username error and that refers to this div here. But what we can do instead is we can actually swap out the entire element and we need to add another attribute for, for that. So if I go back to HTMX's documentation, we've got this swapping section here. So HTMX offers a few different ways to swap the HTML returned into the DOM. By default, it's inner HTML. So for a div, that would mean anything inside that div would be swapped out. But there is another option called outer HTML, which replaces the entire target. So we can experiment very quickly with this. If I specify hx swap equals outer HTML. Now what this should do is replace the entire div. So what we can do is amend the backend response and replace the entire div. So from the view.py, the views.py file, we can actually return HTML directly and we can give it a style. So let's say if the username already exists, we can give it the style of color red. Um, and then we can close that off. And that should make the text within this um, red. So I need to use single quotes there. And then we can do the same for when the username is available and we'll make that green. So we can make that green for OK and we'll close that div off. Hopefully this will work. So let's go back to our form and refresh the page. So you can see it's green when the username is available, but as soon as it becomes unavailable, it will turn red because we're returning HTML that has a style attribute. Depending on the, the condition, it's going to be green or red. So it's another useful attribute of HTMX is this HX swap. It allows you to determine how is the returned HTML swapped into the DOM. So I think that's enough for this video. Um, thank you very much for watching. There will be a blog post on this topic and many more videos on HTMX. It's a very useful new technology that's becoming popular in the Django community and in the Python community. So stick around for more videos. If you enjoyed this one, please like and subscribe and see you in the next video.